Hi everyone! Since childhood, we admired characters from fairy tales and cartoons, so it's quite natural that cosplay and dressing up as your favorite characters are so popular among both children and adults. Some simply want to transform into their favorite cartoon character, to become part of something magical at least for a couple of hours. The important thing, though, is not to forget to take off the suit before you're about to do something not so fabulous. Otherwise, things might get embarrassing. <laughs> Today, we're about to show you what could happen if you get reckless and forgetful. Let's get it on. Chicken. Chicken. Imagine the following situation. You calmly enjoy your evening with your friends in a pub, and then some weird guy in a chicken costume suddenly waltzes in. You'd probably think you had too much to drink today. The people in the bar could not believe their eyes when a guy in a chicken suit sat down at the counter and began to drink as if it was a perfectly normal thing to do. Imagine their surprise when a few minutes later, the police arrived to arrest him. Turned out that shortly before he walked into the pub, the hero of this story committed a crime. petty theft. And instead of hiding his spoils, the guy decided to wear it in public. Yes, we're talking about his chicken suit. There was a costume shop in the building near the pub. The thief broke in there and stole a heavy yellow fur cape and a vintage 1936 feathery hat. What? The people in the pub were excited to see such an unusual visitor, especially considering that a few minutes earlier, they heard someone breaking into the costume shop next door. While some enthusiastically took selfies with the chicken man, others were already calling the police. The man was apprehended at the pub, and police claimed he appeared to be under the influence of drugs. We wonder if he was seeing everyone else dressed as chickens, too. Mini and Friends what is the name of New York's most famous landmark, perhaps Central Park, which we have seen dozens of times in many romantic films? And of course, the legendary Statue of Liberty. And don't forget about Times Square, basking in a light of numerous bright billboards. Anyone who has ever been to Times Square at least once knows there are many costumed characters. The local law clearly establishes the conditions and boundaries of their work. For example, they do not have the right to step beyond the marked area. However, almost no one observes these rules. Moreover, people dressed as fairy tale characters often pester passersby, touch them, and ask for tips when children decide to take a selfie with their favorite character. Police officers regularly detain dishonest actors dressed as Spider Man or Mickey Mouse. Say ho! This guy in a Spider-Man costume was caught by a policeman at the crime scene. The costume character refused to take a $1 bill from a woman, claiming that he only takes fives and tens. The law enforcement officer overheard this conversation and intervened. They started arguing, and their argument got heated and turned into a fight. After this, Spider-Man, apparently, no longer appears in Times Square, because now, in addition to extortion, he was charged with an attempt on the life of a policeman. The fraud scheme these characters came up with is very simple. For First, they harass tourists, especially small children. After all, we all know that parents cater to every whim of their kids. And then, when the photo has already been taken, the costume characters start dropping hints that it would be nice to pay them a couple of dollars. The scheme works just fine. For most tourists, it's easier to give money to the annoying beggar than to argue with him. White Rabbit <laughs> Remember the white rabbit with floppy ears from Lewis Carroll's book, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? The white rabbit is a rather timid creature who is constantly nervous and in a hurry. Sometimes he could get a little domineering, but he never misbehaved, unlike his miserable costumed impersonator who works at American Disneyland. A few years ago, this video caused a major outcry on social networks. It shows a 14-year-old Jocelyn tugging the rabbit's tail and then walking away. And then the unexpected thing happened. The white fluffy costumed character approaches the girl, grabs her hand and neck roughly, holds them for a couple of seconds, and lets go. The girl recalls he also threatened and cursed at her. The girl's sister Alexis was trying to intervene, to which the rabbit replied, Don't ever start this with me. What a way to ruin the magical experience. Mickey <laughs> Cinderella, Peter Pan, Tinker Bell, Snow White, all gathered in one place. But wait, it looks like they're getting arrested. We shall overcome! We shall overcome! We shall overcome! 
What is this? The filming of a new Disney movie remake? Or maybe a street prank? No to all of the above. This is actually a real protest of the animation company workers, who decided to march through the streets of Anaheim right up to the gates of the Disneyland amusement park. Over 30 people took part in the protest, each dressed as one of the characters from the fairy tale universe. They were protesting against the new job contracts offered by Walt Disney Studios to its hotel chain employees. According to the protesters, with the new contracts, they cannot even afford health insurance, and new employees would also have to work a certain number of hours before even being eligible for health care. In the end, Mickey Mouse and his friends couldn't take it anymore and rebelled against capitalism. However, they didn't end up in a fairy tale world with universal brotherhood and equality for all, but in an ordinary police station. She wanted to get arrested. Imperial Stormtrooper. No, this is not footage from an upcoming Star Wars movie. This is a scene from the real world, filmed in the U.S. city of Lynn in Massachusetts. You've got to agree, it looks creepy. In this video, a man dressed as an Imperial Stormtrooper is walking right next to an elementary school, carrying a gun. You could easily mistake him for the character from the famous saga. The attentive school director spotted the strange man in time. She immediately called the police and reported the incident, adding that the man was most likely armed. All the necessary security measures were taken. The school was barricaded before the patrol car even arrived. However, the panic turned out to be slightly exaggerated. It turned out the arrested cosplayer never had a real gun, only a toy laser one. Poor guy! He only wanted to show off his new costume to his friends, and he said he only came up to the school to surprise the students after lessons. But the problem is that there is a special law in Massachusetts. According to it, the police have the right to arrest any suspicious individuals near the educational institutions. That's why the guy ended up in the police station, missing the party with his friends. Well, he'll just have to choose better places for dressing up next time. Tigger for the Monaco family, as for many others in the United States, a trip to Disney World in Florida has been a cherished dream for many years. They planned to visit the largest amusement park in the world very carefully. And finally, they were there. Dozens of rides, delicious snacks, meeting their favorite characters, that's when they got into trouble. At some point, one of Monaco's sons decided to take a picture with Tigger, everyone's favorite character from the Winnie the Pooh cartoons. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tigger! The boy decided to get into the picture when he saw the outstretched hand of the fairy tale hero, who was taking photos with other children. Tigger, apparently, really didn't like that because he suddenly punched the child right in the face. Luckily, Jerry got away with just a little pain in his neck the next morning. However, his experience of the trip, of course, was a bit ruined. This accident caused quite an intense argument in social networks when some users saw the situation from a completely different angle. Many people argued that the teen in the video clearly provoked Tigger, probably by pulling his tail or some other part of his costume. The court eventually cleared the employee of the charges. However, it is unknown whether he will be able to or willing to work with children after this. Elsa Remember gorgeous Elsa from the iconic animated movie Frozen? We know that she has magical powers. For example, she can create ice and command snowstorms. And one time, the princess even plunged her kingdom into eternal winter by accident. Well, it seems like at the beginning of last year, Elsa visited the American Midwest. At least, that's what the local police say. At the end of January 2019, Illinois was hit by an abnormal cold wave brought by a polar cyclone. People were not prepared for the severe frost, and at one point, began to lose their nerve. That's when the police officers from McLean County decided to play a little prank and published these photos on their Facebook with the following caption, Attention! Due to extreme cold weather, all criminal activity and acts of stupidity and foolishness have been cancelled. Even Elsa has been placed under arrest with no bond. Thank you for your attention and understanding to this matter. Respectively, the McLean Police Department. In the photos, you can see a girl who looks like Princess Elsa getting into a police car. One of the officers is holding pink handcuffs. Turned out this was done not just for the sake of a good laugh. The photographer hired by the police for the photo shoot told the reporters that all this was actually to promote a local children's party agency. By the way, there's another story about Elsa that happened in the state of Indiana in 2018. The local police declared the Snow Queen wanted, accusing her of a very sharp drop in temperature. Police officers even asked the state residents to help them find the criminal.